I'm gonna be real with you. How many of you married couples, your sex life, your intimacy life, your romantic life has been null and void because of the financial burdens that you have? You're doing car swiping and you're saying, I don't have a problem. No, you do have a problem. I'm one of the two percent. I'm one of the two percent. I'm one of the two percent. No, you ain't. The majority of you all, 98 percent, has been proven by the credit card companies that 98 percent of the people do not pay off the credit card every single month. They just can't. When I meet a young lady and, and she's she 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 is she's she says I, I live off a of budget or I'm budgeting or I'm like hey I got a budgeting question man can I just be real with you that turns me on I'm like okay okay Anthony I just lost my husband or just lost my job and I'm using a credit card just to pay for food just to pay for gas and I'm with it I'm so with I I, I understand and I want to be sensitive to that I do want to be sensitive sensitive to that here's what I am saying though. We still got What's going on fam, it's your boy Anthony O'Neill. Welcome back to the table. And today we are tackling a topic that's hitting a lot of us hard. And I'm gonna be real with you. It hit me hard personally in my twenties and that's credit card debt. Let me hit you with some stats and to show you exactly why this is such a huge problem today. And, and a lot of you today watching this are probably gonna feel a little convicted. You're gonna feel like I'm coming for you, but I'm really not coming for you. I'm trying to help you avoid some of the issues that I hit and that I ran into. And I wanna make sure that you don't do that. But first off, did you know that the average American household carries right around $6,000 just in credit card debt? Now this is credit card debt, negative debt, what they're behind on, paying interest on. And with the interest rates often covering right around 16 to 20%, this debt can quickly spiral out of control. So I get a lot of us, you know, we're all sitting here saying, oh my God, I'm I'm, I'm going to use my credit card for emergencies and pay it off every single month. 98% of you all watching the show today are not doing that. Let's keep it above. Don't be in the comment section talking about, I pay mine off all the time. No, 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 you do not. All right. In fact, Americans collectively owe over $900 billion in credit card debt. So the majority of us are saying we can pay it off. But collectively, we owe $900 billion in credit card debt. Cap! We cannot. We are not paying it back by the end of the month. So that's a lot of money weighing us down and preventing us from building wealth and going after the future that we desire. You see, credit card debt isn't just about owing money. It's about the stress that comes with it, the sleepless nights and the impact it has on our future. And I'm gonna go there, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. How many of you married couples, your sex life, your intimacy life, your romantic life has been null and void because of the financial burdens that you have? Your relationships are impacted. Your marriage is impacted because of the financial burdens that we have. And in fact, credit card debt is holding us back specifically from good, healthy relationships, from building wealth, from achieving financial freedom and leaving a legacy for our loved ones. But here's the good news. Here's the good news. We don't have to live like this. I'm no longer living like this and you no longer ha are, ha are having or you no longer have to live like this. We can take control of our finances today. We can pay off this credit card debt and we can build a brighter future, not just for ourselves, but for our kids and our kids, kids, kids. It is our responsibility to leave a legacy to our children's children. So today I wanna dive into some, dive into some practical steps that's gonna help you pay off your credit card debt and get right back on track. But before we get there, I wanna thank my friends over at Ethos for sponsoring today's show. Listen, a lot of you have debt right now. A lot of you all have you know, um, um, mortgages right now. A lot of you all have kids right now. And one of the greatest things we can do is steward. It is manage. Travis Green talked about this on our show a couple of weeks. We can manage our present well, so not just our future, but our kids' future, our loved one's future can be great. And we do that by providing our families with life insurance and a, a full estate plan. And man, the 
the best company in the world to offer this on a term life insurance policy that you can get today up to $2 million without leaving your home, without going to a doctor's office, without a doctor coming to you with no blood work is Ethos. And if you get a policy from them today, and then they'll also give you a policy and give you a full estate plan. As a matter of fact, check out this quick commercial. What's going on family? It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. And I wanna share a secret with you. I wanna share something with you that I regret not doing sooner. If you've been thinking about getting life insurance, now is the time to act. Let me tell you about my friends over at Ethos, a life insurance company that's making waves with this affordability and ease of access. You can get coverage for as low as $30 a month. My own rate was just around $60 a month. And I spend more than that on food delivery. <laughs> Let me be honest. I wanna give you some quick points of why I love them so much. Number one is their rates and affordability. Imagine paying 30 or $68 a month for a peace of mind. That's less than most of your monthly subscriptions. Number two, ease of use. You can get up to $2 million in coverage without any medical exams or blood tests. Just answer a few quick, healthy questions and you're set. The entire process is 100% online and take less than 10 minutes. Number three, speed. You can get a quote in seconds. You can apply in minutes and have same day coverage. I got my coverage through Ethos literally in 10 minutes and got my thing back quick. Trust and reliability is the last thing I love about them. Ethos has an A plus rating with the BBB and stellar trust pilot reviews. Every day, around 2000 families are approved for life insurance through Ethos. Listen, I don't want you to wait. Life insurance rates can increase by eight to 10% each year you delay. I purchased my policy a few years ago, and if I had waited until now, my price would be significantly higher. Lock in your rate right now and secure your family's future. I want you to visit anthonyoneillcom forward slash ethos to get your free life insurance quote. Apply and get coverage in under 10 minutes. Don't procrastinate. Take control of your future today. So listen, check out my friends over at Ethos, and I promise you, you'll be blessed. And one more thing before we get into today's show. Man, 70% of you all are dating me still. 70% of you all are watching, you're consuming the content, but you're not a part of the E3 community. My Bible says when two or three gather in his name, and we, we gather, we read, we pray, we learn, we grow together, that's when God is in the midst. And there's, there, there is a science, not really a science, but there's something special and anointed about getting connected with people who are like-minded with you. And coming this fall, if you are a subscriber to my podcast, my email list, to my YouTube channel, you are officially part of the E3 community where we are expanding in three main areas. That's abundance, wellness, and freedom, specifically financial freedom, right? And if you can get in part, if you can get a part of this community right now, I'm doing things in the future that's only for my E3 family. That's it. That's it. And so all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and you're gonna be a part of this E3 community and you'll be able to get really some private stuff that's coming up in this later this fall. And I promise you, you will thank me. So can you do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, whether you're watching this on YouTube or listening on um, Apple or Spotify podcast, and then hit that thumbs up, man. So that way we can continue sharing uh, this information, but let's get straight into it. Let's break down steps you need to take to really take control of your credit card debt you know and here's number one and and, and, I, and i want to start here because i think a lot of us don't do this number one you got to admit the issue and you got to face it head on a lot of us have you know close to um, um 15 20 000, 25 000 in credit card debt but we have an 800 credit score but you're paying 20 percent of interest a month and you said oh i don't have a problem you know you you've got cars maxed out. You're going from one card over to this card, over to that card. You're doing car swiping. And you're saying, I don't have a problem. No, you do have a problem. First thing, first, you got to admit that you actually have an issue. You have to admit that you have credit card debt. You have to admit that your credit card, your credit score doesn't mean crap if you don't have any money in your bank account because ignoring it won't make it go away. Okay, it, 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 it's ignoring it and just paying the minimum payment is not gonna make it go away. No, you gotta face this thing head on. And I mean this, you have to look at this thing and say, you know what? You gotta pull your credit report, okay? Let's be real, let me, let me, let me get closer to you. Um, you gotta pull your credit report. 
You got to pull anything and everything that you need to look at. And you need to say, you know what? How much money do I have in credit cards? I got $35,000 in credit card debt alone. That's an issue. That's an issue. I'm paying, and then here's what I really want you to do. When you look at your credit card statement, when you pull your, your credit report and see how much you owe on credit card debt, the next thing is when, when it comes to admitting the issue and facing it head on, I want you to really get deep. I want you to pull your credit card statement and look at how much interest you're paying every single month on top of your credit card. I want you to look at how much money you're blowing away, how much money you're giving to Wells Fargo, which is two families, how much money are you giving to their family to help pay for their legacy building and robbing from your family? Oh, I'm starting early right now and I got eight more points to get to. Oh my goodness. You're paying other people for their wealth and you're robbing from your wealth potential because we should be receiving interest payment we shouldn't be paying out interest. I get it, Anthony. I, I like the points. Man, I'm with you. Trust me. I love points too, uh, you know, but I don't love points. I do not want points at the cost of my financial future because here's the truth and I'm gonna be honest with you and a lot of you are gonna get upset when I say this, but I love you, you're a part of the family and thank you so much for watching this show, but you're not mature enough to have a credit card. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, 98% of us in America today are not mature enough for us to have credit. I went to Dubai, they pay things for cash. America's one of the only systems that live off of a credit score, but you got other people who are wealthy, who are making just as much money as you and I, and they don't borrow money. So a credit score is not the end all be all. We have a problem and we need to address it. And that's the very first thing you have to do. Pull your credit report, look at what's going on, how many credit cards you have, which you should know because they're in your wallet, they're in your purse. Then I want you to pull up every credit card statement that you have, add up the balance. I want that balance to sit right there in the smack uh, center so you can see it every single day. Then I want you to see how much money you're paying in interest, how much money you're robbing from your future, from your family so that you can have credit cards. So that's number one, you gotta admit it, admit the issue, and you gotta face it head on. Here's number two, you gotta stop using credit cards. Listen, you we, we can't pay off the credit card debt. We can't. If, if you keep tackling and racking up more debt. No, man, listen, check this out right here. Cut them up. Oh my God, oh my God, if I cut the credit cards up, you know, that's gonna hurt my credit score. Who cares? Who, who cares? You're more worried about a three digit score on a sheet of paper that's not even ran by the government, it's ran by a private entity, than you are having financial freedom? Yes, in today's market, yes, in today's um, um, today's time, having a bad credit score is hor it, it it kills you, it, it hurts you for sure. And, and, and I gotta stop saying your credit score doesn't mean anything because I have a credit score. Actually, I have a high credit score because I have real estate, but that's the only thing on my credit report. That's why I have a high credit score. But when you look at you know my actual credit, I'm actually not really credit worthy because I only have one line trade on there, which is real estate. That's it. So, so from what I'm telling you is, yeah, you gotta cut them credit cards, man. Let me go on record and say this. I believe that there are 2% of the 2% of the people in the world. And watch this, all in the comments, I'm one of the 2%, I'm one of the 2%, I'm one of the 2%, no you ain't. The majority of you all, 98% has been proven by the credit card companies that 98% of the people do not pay off the credit card every single month. They just can't. 
They can't. We tend to spend more money when we have a credit card, and then when it's time to make that payment and we see what we, what all we spent, we're like, wait a minute, I can't pay all that. Let me just pay the minimum balance. Then we get comfortable paying the minimum balance. Now our balances are not changing because we're paying 20% of interest, but we're only making a small payment of $50, but we owe $15,000, $20,000 on the credit card. It doesn't make sense. We cannot get out of credit card debt if you are continuing to rack up the debt on your credit cards. Bottom line, in the words of the general himself, Dave Ramsey, cut them craps. That's bad grammar. <laughs> That's bad grammar. Cut that crap up. Cut it up. You are not mature. If you are in the 2%, hey man, I'm not I'm, I'm rocking with you, totally understand. I'm not even hating you. But the majority of you all who are going to go in the comments and say I am, you're not. Let's stop capping. Here's number 3. After we acknowledge the problem and we cut up the credit cards, we got to start generating some extra money. When I say generate extra money, here's something that I really, 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 really want you to understand, right? Is that the, the, when you start generating the extra money, it creates margin. And with that margin, margin, right, is our wealth building tool once we have no debt. But margin, right, is the, is the tool that we're using to pay off our debt. So margin in the first stages helps you pay off debt. The margin in the next stage helps you get a fully funded emergency fund. Then margin in the next stage is, is invested into real estate, stock market, et cetera, to help you build wealth. So what we gotta do, number three, is we gotta get some extra money, AKA some margin in our room, uh, in our resources, financial resources, so right now we can eliminate the credit card debt, then go over to get, your, get us a fully funded savings account, then go over to wealth building. But right now, how can we get extra money? How can we get extra money? Let me tell you something. Um, I, I, I am, my team and I, man, we've had the opportunity to, to generate millions of dollars from YouTube millions of dollars just from utilizing YouTube, from utilizing podcasts, from taking my passion, my message, my journey, and going and sharing this message on YouTube. It's been such a blessing to, to share my story, share my journey, share what God has given me. I started it on the side, now it's my full-time income. And over the last just three years, We've been able to capitalize on an extra 600,000 people just on YouTube alone, another 150,000 on podcasts, another 200,000 on our email list, 450,000 um, or 420 something thousand on my Instagram. Um, I mean, I, 400 on my Facebook. We got a total of about right around 2 million people, and, I, and I'm so grateful, that have followed us because of the power of YouTube. And if you're looking for some extra income, there are some things that you can do from home that you don't have to go drive for Uber or drive for DoorDash. You can make an extra $1,000, $5,000 a month from home simply by sharing your story, your journey, your passion with people on YouTube. You can be a single mother. How did you raise, you know, three kids on your own? You you can talk about that. You could be, you know, um, 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 a therapist, or you can have, you know, a passion for mental therapy. You can talk about that on YouTube. You don't have to be an expert because I'm not. I'm not an expert. I, I can't sit here and say that I'm an expert because I'm not Dave Ramsey. I, I'm not a Robert Kiyosaki. You know, I'm not these other people. I'm just simply sharing the things that I've learned with my money, with my mistakes. And I'm sharing those lessons. And as I'm learning, I'm continuing to share. And as I'm evolving and growing, you know, I'm doing that. So, Y'all call me an expert. I call myself a student because I'm always learning. And there, I'm offering a free masterclass here this week, a free masterclass this week where I'm teaching you how to take on the power and the power of YouTube and how you can build a brand that can help you make extra money on the side. And watch this, it's not stressful, it's fun. Because we can all talk about the things that we love and that we do for a living and how do we make extra money. So if you wanna do that, if you wanna get on this free masterclass and let us show you how you can do this and even join a community of people who are doing this 
full time, like myself and my team and other people. We have hundreds of people in this community. Hey, I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash ICS and click the link in today's show notes. Um, it, it, we'll put that in today's show notes. You can check it out. I promise you it will be amazing. And this is a great way to make some great extra income that will go inside of your debt snowball to pay off your credit card debt. That's number four. You got to use the margin inside of your debt snowball, right? So the debt snowball is simple, you guys. You all know this, right? Is you line up all your debt from smallest to largest. I've talked about this. We'll link um, a video inside uh, of today's show notes and where I talk about how to get out of the debt using the debt snowball. But then also I have a free resource on how to eliminate your debt fast. Uh, this would take you, um, it's about 30 pages long. It's 100% free, not asking you to pay anything, but I literally walk you through on how to get out of debt quickly and how to use a debt snowball to its max potential. So we will drop that link in today's show notes as well. Go check that out. But the key thing here within the debt snowball is you're going to make all your minimum payments on all of your debt, especially your credit card debt. So if you got a $500 credit card, $1,000 credit card, $1,500 credit card, let's say a $5,000 credit card, you make all the minimum payments on those, but then you use the margin in between your income and your bills, right? And you take that margin and you put it all on that first one, the extra margin that you have, you put it on the first one then you pay off that one then you snowball it onto the next one then you snowball it onto the next one then you keep snowballing it until you're 100 debt free and what i love about the debt snowball when i was working it paying off my credit card debt and my student loans and my furniture bills man I, when i saw momentum happening when i saw um, uh, this credit card being gone. Now that money's back in my pocket and that credit card is going that money's back in my pocket i was getting excited because I saw the fruit of my labor paying off. And that's why I love the debt snowball. Because you're using the extra money to pay off the smallest debt first, then you're rolling on to the next payment and on to the next one, and then eventually you're 100% debt free. Now all that margin is now going back into your pocket, not going into their pocket for, th um, not pocket, Lord Jesus, into their pocket for financial success. It's coming back into our. The debt snowball works. And I really, 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 really want you all to tap into that. Get that free resource. It's 100% free. You should have um, it up on the bottom of the screen, uh, but then also you will see it in today's show notes. I need y'all to click it and I need y'all to get that free lead magnet. Now, I don't really talk about this a lot, but as I am evolving and growing and maturing on my own, man, um, here's number five that I really, uh, that. I really want people to consider. Here's number five. I want you to consider refinancing the debt to a lower interest rate. Well, wait a minute, Anthony, you want me to go open up another credit card? Want me to go open up another loan? No, when it comes to this, here's what I'm saying. If your credit card is at a 16, 20%, but you can get that credit card, another credit card at 10%, or let's even say 0%, right? I do want you to go on ahead and take that and transfer and refi that into that lower interest rate. Here's why. Because if you can get a lower interest rate, it saves you money. And then it saves you debt. So I want you to consider refinancing. I want you to look into refinancing options to get a lower interest rate, and that saves you money in the long run. Now, watch this. I got let me let me let me park right here. Let me park right here. Um, let, let me let me park right here. Because a lot of you all will hear this, oh man, I can just do a transfer to a 0% credit card, then find another credit card and transfer that a year later, then transfer that a year later. Let me, let, let, let me, let me do that. No, no, listen, listen to me clearly. That's not what I'm saying, what I want you to do. Here's what I'm saying. I want you to refi still with the intentions of, pay, of paying it off ASAP. This is not a transfer credit card game. No, no. This is be very intentional. Use all of our resources to get there. And if you can, if you can find a great one, whether you even have a loan, and say you have a loan out at ten percent, you can get you can get the loan refinanced to five percent. Do it. If you got student loans and you got private student loans, you can get it refi to a lower rate. Do it. I do want you to do it. It's almost like if you got a car, right? Let's say for an example, you have a car and the car um, is only worth fifteen thousand, uh, but 
you owe twenty two thousand on it. Okay, cool. I would rather you go take out a seven thousand dollar loan and sell the car for fifteen thousand dollars. What just happened? We went from owing twenty two thousand dollars to seven thousand dollars. So you borrowed seven thousand dollars and you're gonna pay that back, but you just went down fifteen thousand dollars. You see? Do you see what I'm saying here? I want you to look into options that will save you money long term. But this is not an excuse to be comfortable to extend you from paying off your debt. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying at all. Completely, I am not saying that at all. So as you're doing these first five things and as you're doing these, I want you to be tracking your progress, all right? That this is when we sit down and we keep track of our payments and watch our balances grow. This, this is when we're honestly budgeting, okay? This is when we're taking the time and we're sitting down and we're writing out our plan at, at the end of every single month for the beginning of every single month. Where there is no vision, that's where people perish. Write the plan and make it clear. So you're going to track your plan. You're going to track your progress. You're going to budget. You're going to tell your money every single month what it needs to be doing for the next month. Can I tell you something? I think that is one of the sexiest things people can do. When I meet a young lady and, and she's she 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 is she's she says I I live off a of budget or I'm budgeting or like hey I got a budgeting question man can I just be real with you that turns me on I'm like okay okay when when I meet men you know definitely doesn't turn me on about brothers <laughs> but I, I get excited to call that man a friend. I get excited to call that brother, you know, someone who I'm connected to because it shows maturity. It shows that, hey, I value the resources God has given me and, and I'm on a mission, but I've never met someone who was successful or someone who has built or established something who went into something without a plan, who never tracked their progress. Listen, you can't, you can't manage something that you do not track. Ooh. God just gave me this too. Oh my gosh, God is good right here. God is good. He said, Anthony, you can't even multiply something that you don't manage well. And you can't manage something that you don't track. So if you track it, you can manage it better. If you manage it better, it forces you into your future. Okay, Travis Green, okay, Travis Green. You can't multiply your money your money can't multiply it if you're not managing it. And we can't manage it if we're not tracking what's happening with it. I was working out and my trainer said, hey, what I need you to do, I need you to track your food. I was like, track my food? I was like, yeah. He gave me this app. I want you to track everything. Anything that you put inside your mouth, whether you're drinking water, drinking Kool-Aid, um, gummy bears, Tic Tac, chicken ribs, whatever you put inside your mouth, I need you to track it on, in this app. I said, why is, that why is that so important? He said, because when you're tracking, if you're tracking and you're tracking your weight as well, well, we'll know, okay, wait, when you eat this, this happens and we can make adjustments with the plan, with the strategy. We can see what's working. We can see what's going in you. And, and we can see, okay, well, if we take that out, what happens to your body? We add this in, what happens to your body? When we're tracking it, we can make a better strategy. Okay, talk to me, God, while I'm talking. This is not even on my notes. He said, we can track things. Ooh. If, if it, as you're tracking things and we're seeing your body adjust and we're seeing things happen, we can make changes. And as we're making changes, we can develop the right management strategy for your future, for your body. And if we can get the right strategy, the right system put in place because of what we're tracking, we can multiply your muscles. We can multiply your abs. You won't have a gut, but you'll have a six pack. We can get your chest more defined. We can get your body more defined, AKA we can make Anthony O'Neill healthier, but we can't get you healthy. We can't get your money healthier if we're not tracking it from the very beginning.
So you have to get on a zero base budget. You got to get on some form of a tracker. And I have a wealth tracking tool that will help you do this. All this information is on anthonyoneal.com. Everything that we're giving you is on anthonyneal.com, but we're going to put the wealth tracker inside of today's show notes too, because you can't sit here and build wealth, get out of credit card debt, get you a six month, uh, six months to a year worth of your net pay inside your savings account. You can't start building wealth. You can't do this all successfully it, only in your head based upon memory. No, you need to have it written down so that you can see it so that your spouse can see it and watch this so that your kids can see it. Your kids should see, yeah, we're on a debt-free journey right now, kids. This is why I can't, I can't take you to buy that toy today. But I promise you this much, I can't, I can't take you to buy this toy today. But when you graduate high school, we're going to pay cash for college. As you're tracking your debt, I mean, as you're tracking your progress with eliminating your debt and starting a journey of building wealth, here's number seven, because it, while you're tracking it, you can't add more to what you're tracking. What do you mean, Anthony? You have to avoid borrowing any more money. You have to avoid taking out more credit cards. I know you guys are going to be tempted. Hey, can I be real with you? I'm tempted. But here's what I realized. I can't, my future can't afford any new loans. My future can't afford any new credit cards because I'm focused on eliminating the debt that I currently had at that time. And I say, yo, I can't afford to bring that on because my future is more important to me. My freedom is more important to me. My, my health, my wellness is more important to me. Taking a seat at the head of my table, AKA my life is more important to me. I'm tired of Wells Fargo sitting at the head of my table. I'm tired of all this stuff. I want it back. So I have to avoid adding on new debt. Have to, have to. I don't care if they offer you a 0% interest rate because here's the truth. Let's look at the math here. Let's look at the math. Let's look at the math. Let's say you make $5,000 a month. Simple number, $5,000 a month. And let's say right now, studies are showing that 78 to 80% of us are living paycheck to paycheck. Nearly 60% of us can't handle a 400 to $1,000 cash emergency. We have to go to a credit card. Well, I'm confused. If I'm already living paycheck to paycheck, right? And I go get a credit card and I put money on that credit card and I'm already living paycheck to paycheck. And then I go get a credit card. So I'm already, if I make 5,000, I'm already spending 5,000 and I go get a credit card and I add on that on top of me. That means now I make 5,000, but now I'm above $5,000 expenses a month that I have to pay for. I'm adding more stress. I'm adding headaches. I'm adding drama. I'm adding frustration. Why? For a Gucci belt? For a new hairdo? Why? To go out on a date? To buy some new clothes? To keep up with the Joneses? Now, 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 let me be real. Let me be real. Let me be real. Because I think sometimes I got to be, sometimes I can come off insensitive. I think that a lot, there are a lot of people who are, who are in debt because of, who are in debt because of life circumstances. I don't think a lot of us are, 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 are using our credit cards for fun things, for, you know, for the things that we desire. I do believe that there are a lot of us who are like, Anthony, I just lost my husband or just lost my job and I'm using a credit card just to pay for food, just to pay for gas. And I'm with it. I'm so with, I, I, I understand. And I want to be sensitive to that. I do want to be sensitive, sensitive to that. Here's what I am saying though. We still got to go back to the right strategy. And while I get the transition season and life may hit you and I totally get that, but we can't use that for an excuse. We, we, we can, we can, we can't keep using life happened to me for an excuse. No, life is going to happen. Life just happened to me. 
but I couldn't use that as an excuse. Didn't even tell my team what happened. I just took care of it with the emergency fund. Boom, we kept on moving. We kept on trucking. I can't keep going to family, to friends, to team members and say, hey, life happened. I'm sorry. I can't do this. No. I got to be prepared for when life happens. And some of us are not even prepared because we keep using life as an excuse to justify us being in debt. And that justification has to stop. And you got to get on the plan. You got to get on the strategy. Which leads me to my last point. Once you get on that plan and that strategy and you're working and doing the things that we went over today, you got to stay committed to the process and be patient. One of my good friends, uh, Pastor Darius Daniel said this, and I use it as a quote all the time, but it's, it's, I literally got it from him. The caliber of your future will be determined by the caliber of the choices you make today. And that if your why doesn't make you cry, then the price of commitment will make you cry. Will make you cry. So with all that's being said, I want to end with this. If you're going to get out of credit card debt, I need you to write down why. I need you to write down exactly why do you want to get out of debt, specifically credit card debt? What would your life look like? How much more peace will you have? And you know what's so funny is, and, 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 and I try to be very sensitive, but man, I'm, I'm just a real guy. I was sitting down with a couple the other day and, and I have a, and, and this, no, I want to say this respectfully because they kept it real with me. And I don't give relationship advice because I'm single and clearly I haven't had a successful relationship because I'm not married, right? But I can still give guidance on money. And when it came to me and they sat down with me a minute, it made me want to do a show on how to really win with money and finances and relationships. And so we're going to do a show and that should be coming out here within the next uh, week or so. But the wife said, she said, Anthony, our intimacy life has been a struggle because I don't feel like we even deserve to have intimacy because when this is done, we got to figure out how we're going to pay bills. This particular couple had about $60,000 in credit card debt. Their combined income a year is only $78,000. She's like, Anthony, it's not even just about the credit card debt, but just our life. Like, we are stressed financially. She said 80% of our arguments are from money. And I told her, I said, no, 80% of your arguments are not from money. 80% of your arguments are because of that lack of clarity on where you all are going financially. And if you all don't have a why as a unit, as a couple of why we want financial freedom, you all are always gonna have financial issues. And if you can get that why, then you will stay committed to the process. If you can get that why, then the price of commitment is not going to make you cry because your why is making you cry. If your why doesn't make you cry and they had two kids and I literally walked them through that process. And here's the simple process. Why do you want to be debt free? Answer that question. Whatever that answer is, I want you to write it down. Then after that, I want you to put why. Then answer that question. Then after, after you answer that question, then put why again. Go down five times. When you give yourself an answer, put a why behind that. Well, why do you want that? Go down and answer it again. And you will start feeling that in your gut and in your heart and in your emotions and you will get tears. And when you get that feeling, you don't care if you got $100,000 in credit card debt in front of you. You don't care if you got a thousand to $100,000. You are going to want to be free. Here's the truth. This is a marathon. 
It's not a sprint. It's not the microwave. It's a smoker. Don't look for shortcuts. Work the system. Get my free ebook on how to pay off your debt fast. We'll put that in today's show notes. Get your wealth uh, tool management, uh, your wealth management tool. I think that's like only 10 bucks, you guys. Uh, and literally, you have everything in that, everything, everything in there. And we even send you videos and, and worksheets on how to really work through this tool uh, to, to use it effectively. Um, check out my friends over at Ethos. So that way, why if you are paying off debt, if you do have a mortgage, if you do have some things out there, that if life was to happen and unfortunately God calls you home, your family doesn't have to be stressed now about money and stressed about losing you. You got to stay focused on this path. And you cannot afford to give up because your future self, your future loved ones, your future family is depending on you. I pray that today's show has helped you. If you got more than $1,000 in credit card debt, do these eight things. Let me know in the comments what you liked about today's show. And make sure before you leave, subscribe and hit the thumbs up. It's your boy AO. I'll see you in the next show. Peace out.